morning, everyone. My throat hurts. Woo! It kind of started hurting yesterday. It's not like bad. And then my nose has gone in and out of being stuffy, but not too stuffy. I don't know what it is. It's either just like a cold or allergies. So yeah, my throat hurts. That's gonna be awesome, kind of like moving forward. Today at our house, otherwise known as Bug Base, we are throwing like a little wedding send-off for Mount Patricia. Kind of like a brunch last hangout before they go to Alabama and start doing wedding stuff. Megan is spearheading it. I live here, so I'm like naturally a little bit of a co-host, but Megan is spearheading most things. So everyone's gonna be coming over here, brunch food, maybe mimosas, probably not a good idea for me to have one due to my throat, but orange juice sounds good. I would like to have some orange juice. I had that orange juice with Prosecco. Let's get it. Oh, vlog it up. Oh, hey okay. everybody, welcome to Sally Dar's vlog. <laughs> I'm Mary Patricia Black. This is a send off. And you're throwing it, it's Megan's throwing like it. This is the nicest thing ever. Thank you so Megan much. Megan really spearheaded that yes, thing. Yes, definitely. Not, not a send off, sacrifice of the virgins. Oh. <laughs> okay, come see my spinach dip. This is a family recipe, and I actually just got these new bowls. They're literally so. This is a hot tub. Hot tub is for the bread pieces. Thank you for bringing that to me. Of course, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> hey, Sarah, what are you bringing? So these are Italian sliders, as we have seen me make before. Also, <laughs> the cookies over there. Gorgeous, and I will be diving in first, as I And I will be diving in second. This is quite a momentous moment for me. I don't know, I just said momentous moment because I'm at a loss for words. I've just seen this on the internet so many times, and it's so much better in person. Is that Matt sweater? No, I didn't, it's myself. Oh, is that Matt sweater? No, this is mine. Okay, okay, just check. We, we buy from the same sweater Okay. So we have a it's a similar like kind of palette and vibe. Okay. Can't believe this is your first time in my house. I know. Hopefully not the last. Oh, okay. Four dollars. Wait, what is it? We need your card. We need your card. We're buying some stuff. <laughs> we have to buy stuff because we're in charge of games today. We're, we've been in charge of games. What game is it? You I literally just found this in two minutes. How do you even know this is Because good? this is the one we've been looking yeah, at for the past few weeks. Yeah, we've had this link for a really long time. <laughs> we literally uh, had it linked out already. Oh, and there's only already. eight left. There's only oh, eight left. Okay. So we have to hurry. Where's your card? Where's your card? <laughs> hurry. Oh, man, it's unplugged. Oh, it's already her card's already on there. All right, so we are in charge of games for today, of course. Which like we always have been. We have come up with these questions. Screenshot for uh, any inspiration that you want at your wedding. There's okay. a couple I want to focus in on, though. Who has the cleanest cooter? <laughs> no, you did not put that on there. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> We're allowed to, we made the game. Who said I love you shoddy first? <laughs> Who is taking questions today? Who is the most you know what? Who is typically hornier? Who has the courage to chase after their dreams as they live out their happy ever after? And I like who will get pregnant first. Hey bro. Hey girls. <laughs> I did not do games. If anything goes awry with the games, I was not responsible. I was responsible for decor, food, alcohol, and ambiance. You might get uh, your results later. If you're not getting one back right now, it means you did not follow the rules and you can try again at our next game. It's because I, it's because I circled two. <laughs> Did not follow instructions. See, Sarah, DNF. You can only select one, except for sometimes you can select two when there's two right answers. Okay, Megan, DNF. No, 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 DNF. Why? Why did I get DNF? Tony, DNF. This is a portion where she could have selected two, but she only selected one, but there were two right answers. She just only selected one, so she's getting half credit on those. You can answer both on some questions that we pick. If you answered both on questions that we did not select, DNF. You did not follow directions to small. But right now we have our first graded one with 70% accuracy. Oh, Adam. You have a good job. Here's your salad. We haven't quite gotten to it yet. This one's two. She half credit. Who will get pregnant first? Patricia. I'd say half. Yeah, half. Because <laughs> she could have selected two. Half okay. credit. No, she doesn't get half. On that I think one. seventy-two percent. Okay, so that's first place. No. Well, what does he have? Seventy. Yeah. Um, I'm Who do you guys want to win? This isn't rigged. <laughs> Thirty-seven. That's the grading scale out of a hundred. How did I get a third? Who got a ninety-nine point seven? Oh, Megan! Wow! Wow! No more! I'm on on the roll. Okay, well I don't have proof of what my grade is because I was disqualified. <laughs> Circling both names, which were part of the rules, which were never specified. Why am I getting disqualified? You did not follow the instructions. Right, so there were no instructions. There were, and we listed them. We'll explain them in a second. It will hold all questions until the end, and we're also not answering anything about the grading scale. Okay? Uh, I missed two and got a 46. Yes. <laughs> so, who made the first move? The answer? Matt King. Uh, Alright, raise your hand if you got that one right. Okay, if you did not get that one right, you need to step, step out. out of the room. <laughs> Number two, who is planning the moon? <laughs> Matt! Yes! 
Yes. Okay, who is the biggest diva? Oh, Big girl diva, sorry. Matt. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I, I got that. I got that. So Rachel, Again, we're not doing that. questions like on the scale or how you were graded. Okay, well, I got it right. Okay, well, I got it right. Okay, who great. is the better cook? Patricia. 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 Yeah. Very good, y'all. That's a good job. Okay, who takes longer to get ready? Patricia. Patricia. Yeah. Who has the cleaner cooter? Patricia. Who will crown the first the first on the big day? Matt. Who said I love you, Shawty? First, Patricia. Who is the most romantic? Matt. Rachel. Um, no. By the way, that's wrong. So maybe y'all should check your answer. Yeah, check your answer. Can I talk oh, to you? Oh, we had it. We had it. We had it. Because the bow tie was selected. Yeah. The bow tie was selected. Okay. Okay, I also have a question. Okay, okay so who is the most romanticized? <laughs> who is the most romanticized? <laughs> <laughs> who is the most romanticized? <laughs> Like okay. who wrote, I wrote, He's man. more romantic than I am. 100%. Yeah. Uh, Big question. A lot of you failed to answer properly. Who is taking questions today? Oh. This nobody's was a, taking this questions. This is a today. no. This was a special bonus. You could have chose both for this one. And you <laughs> should have selected both. And we said that in the rules <laughs> from okay, the get go. No, no, no. Good question right now. Who is the first to admit they were wrong? Matt. Matt. Because I'm always right. Yes. yes. Are you mad at me? Is everything okay? Who will get the most blackout at the wedding? Matt. Matt. Who met the alls first? Matt. Matt. Who is the most? <laughs> no what? Matt. <laughs> this is also one of those you could have selected. You should one. have selected. Wait, both. what is the? <laughs> this room was both. What's the, what, who is the most you know what? What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? You're all good. Who's taking the here? Matt. Matt. Rock hard bonus. Let's get it. <laughs> Who has the courage to chase after their dreams as they live out their happily ever after? Patricia. Patricia. Yes, very good. <laughs> you could have gotten half nice. credit if you chose Matt as well. So, yeah, and then last but least, who will get pregnant first? Matt. 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 100%. Good job. All right. Me. Well, that's about all we have time for today. Woo! All right. We're holding a Q&A time for two. Okay. You guys, are you answering these questions or were we are? You are asking us questions. Why did I get disqualified? You did not follow <laughs> DNF. I'm the bride. Tell everybody who got third place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who got third is, of course, Matt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who got second is a tie. Okay. It's a, a tie between three people. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand if you think you're in the running to be tied for second. Alexa. You're kidding. Yeah. Megan. Woo! Yes! Yeah! yeah. Bar. Wait, really? Yeah. Me? Yes! Brooke. Yeah! Wow! Woo! First place, although this individual, you know, was disqualified for obvious reasons. We pulled it back in for reconsideration, and at the end of the day, our number one winner is... Patricia F. Thank you! Wow. I'd like to point out that I don't think anyone got 147. 147, try again. It's for something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How did you feel about the game? I'm satisfied with it. I'm glad that Patricia finally placed first. Yes. But finally, yeah, because finally at the end, the fi at the final round, she ended up placing first. But she's the only one that knew all of the answers truly. So. Well, yeah, she should. She's always right. She is. I'm pretty. I'm. I, I'm satisfied with it. When I was filling it out though, halfway, I thought this was like just some survey they downloaded off the internet. And then when it got down to like who is the cleanest cooter, I'm like, okay, Channing wrote this. What kind of game is the second game? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they should. Um, hi. So, guys, put in the comments below if you think it's a good idea. I think that we should look up sex positions and, and set them up and just to teach them. Back bedroom, let's go, Channing. Back bedroom. I'm good right now. Wear nothing but your wedges. I'm good right now. The wedges stay on. Always glued to my feet. Patrick, put your glasses on. Where are y'all coming from? Beach volleyball. And would you like to know what our team name is? Yes. Safe sets. <laughs> you came up with that. Like volleyball yeah. No, he came up no. with spike my drink, but I felt that one was too inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> so. We didn't need to yeah, do that. Yeah. Did you guys wear those glasses during the game? Yes, yeah, we all have wrap arounds. Around. Our whole Party team. Oh. Does everyone do that, or just you guys? No, just, just us. Our team. <laughs> That's just gonna be our team. We definitely bring the intimidation factor, yeah, we do. and we're the hottest the youngest, team out there. Youngest and hottest team. Have you made any friends? Like your man? I would say. <laughs> We didn't know Sean, our teammate Sean. Oh, yeah. Sean. Oh, wait, y'all would love our teammate Sean. He's cute. Oh, yeah. I would actually like to meet Sean. Okay. Why haven't you told me about Sean? <laughs> well, we know, guys, that sounds great. You need to come to the next I game. I gotta. You should. Yes. She's fine. I just feel like we got out of the blue when we put her in. Because we could be on like this. That was good. Party is
is over, Sarah and I are going to see 303 open for boys like girls. I'm taking an emergency because my throat is scratchy. We're going to the Hollywood Palladium, which is where I was literally last night for Maisie Peters. And I'm also going to see the 1975 tomorrow night, which is kind of like a week of concerts. And I also have a concert Thursday and Friday. It's just like the joys of living in LA. It's like, why am I going to this many concerts? But also like, I could have literally never seen any of these people living in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Why am I living in LA if I'm like not doing this? You know? Anyways, taking an emergency. The party was really good. I think everyone had a lot of fun. Matt and Patricia are like leaving for Alabama, obviously, like, you know, a little bit before their wedding. It was nice to see them before they're like fully at the altar, like getting married. Even all the people that'll be like leaving on the same flight as us, like we won't see a lot of the people until we're like all heading to the wedding. So it was kind of nice to have like one last gathering to be like, next time I see you, we will be in Alabama. Today was so fun. The wedding is gonna be so fun. I have one dress option that came a few days ago, but I have another dress option coming on Wednesday. That's the one that I'm like really hoping works because I like that one better. So fingers crossed for that. Today was really fun and I hope everyone had a lot of fun, but now. Okay, we're sat, we're sat. So we're sat here at Palladium. I'm waiting for 303 to come on. I'm we're seeing like a lot of um, flannels. Flannels and checkers. Some yeah, there's, there's, there's like, like a Sun 41 shirt in front of us. It's just fun comparing last night at the Maisie Peters concert, which is very like curly, like, right. like younger, like, Girl vibe yeah. tonight, which is more like, like exact promise like, called millennial yeah. vibe. I think I should know. Okay, 303, stunning, beautiful men that are both fathers, I believe, married, just having fun on stage. I love it. So fun, living their best life. Very important to know that between 303 and Boys Like Girls going on, there was a man named Scott that wanted to talk to us. I don't even know how the conversation started. He was harmless, he was nice. Older gentleman, just having a good time, came to the concert alone, which I really admire and I think is awesome. Started talking to him, offered to buy us a drink. That's so lovely, thank you, Scott. Really wanted us to know that he had not poisoned us, which I also appreciate, you know, he kind of, poured the beers into several, whatever. He did not poison us. He made sure that we knew he did not poison us, which is very, very kind of him. Scott is a very important character in this vlog, okay? He is going to come back later. He is, he is like a brother to me. We met Scott and continued to watch the concert with him, though he was standing behind us, which I also really appreciated because he wasn't like trying to like be buddy buddy with us. He wasn't trying to talk to us during the concert. He was just like, you guys have fun. I'm back here. Let me know if you need a drink. And we said, thank you so much, Scott. We will do that. Keep keep Scott in mind as we move forward. He's going to come up later. having a coughing fit um good morning good morning that's what i was trying to think of today is 1975 day and part of me is wanting to make another custom t-shirt like i made in the last vlog the other part of me is like just calm down don't make a shirt for every fucking concert you go to well i didn't make one for the concert last night also concert last night very fun my voice does sound bad one because my throat and like my nose and stuff so there's that but also i actually was screaming more than i had anticipated 303 is just like so silly they're just so funny and then boys like girls that one album i don't even know the name of it 
<clears throat> maybe it's a self-titled album, but it's the one that has like the three streaks of color. That album, I loved that album. Mostly because my sister loved the album. So then of course, like I adapted to also liking Boys Like Girls, but Heels Overhead, I used to listen to that song on fucking repeat. There was also a lot of songs that I did not know that they played. So it was pretty much like screaming at the top of my lungs and then being dead fucking silent. I literally didn't know their new stuff. We did meet our dear friend Scott last night, who was so kind to buy us drinks as well as tell us that he could get us closer to the 1975 tonight. So I guess we're gonna be texting our dear friend Scott, though I'm not sure, not sure how he's gonna do that. But then he told us where he works and he like works in music. So I'm like, okay, maybe you do know someone. I'm confused. Then he was like, well, I can also get you pretty close to Pink on Friday. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like who? We're not writing Scott off, but I'm also very confused about how he's able to get us closer. He did put his number in my phone and I guess I will text him because at the very least, maybe he'll buy us another drink. That could be nice if Scott could do that. Stay tuned for a Scott update. I need to make a coffee and then I need to go and look at parking passes tonight. Hopefully they're not sold out. I should have already bought one. I don't know, I just like wasn't thinking. God, <coughs> my throat. Monkey bread leftover from yesterday. Let's just have a bite. What's wrong? Oh, I need to empty the dishwasher. I don't want to. It's kind of hard. Okay. I love it, man. I'm so excited to go back to Tennessee soon. It's just gonna be like so much colder and cozier. And then I'll ask my mom if we can go to Target. I'll get a Starbucks coffee. We'll walk around. I miss just having like a big Target with a big parking lot. That is like the shittiest thing about living in a city. It's like, no, I just like want a suburban Target. I want a suburban Target. And I feel like even if I drove like to the suburbs here, it wouldn't hit the same as a Target in East Tennessee. Like it just wouldn't. Fuck dude, I gotta go to Target at home. I really can't decide. Should I make a t-shirt? I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I think I, I think I might go to Target and then also go to Joann's and get some Liberty print fabric. Wouldn't that be so cute? I think it'd be cute. Okay. First things first, after putting this away, is to not unload the dishwasher because I don't want to. We're gonna go look at parking on my laptop, secure that, and then maybe unload the dishwasher, maybe not. Probably go to Target and Joann's, then maybe unload the dishwasher or not, and then I guess so until the concert. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't fucking know, dude. I, I just, it's an illness. Okay, I got the parking pass for tonight and now I'm at Joann's and I'm gonna go look at some fabric. You know what, worst case, if I don't finish this shirt on time, I could make it 1989 instead of 1975. Okay, they don't really have that many Liberty fabrics and none of them are that good, but there's this whole like sale section that maybe I'll find something in here that's cute. I really like this one. That's really cute. I found a few. a few of these. I'm not like obsessed with them though. There's so much to look at that I can't decide. I love this. I might have to get this. This is so cute. <gasps> this one too. Oh my God. Wait, oh wait. <gasps> Okay, I actually just found this one. It's Eddie Bauer, but I'm kind of loving this on a black t-shirt. Could be sick. On the Target app, it said that it had black in the size I needed, but they don't. So um, we're gonna have to pivot. I found these long sleeve kind of cropped shirts, and I feel like this actually might be a pretty good option. This is 15 and it's a little bit thicker. I'm thinking I might do this because it'll fit with like the tartan plaid vibe and the concert is outside. So this will keep me warmer. And you know what? Let's not make the exact same thing again. Let's switch it up. I feel like it could be really cute on a long sleeve. I think we're gonna get this. Yeah, I'm liking it. I think I'm gonna do this. started sewing 
this number, but I'm like thinking it's too big. I should have like tried this on and laid them on top of me before I started sewing. This is feeling bigger than what I would want. I mean, it's fine. I think I really want like just like small, this little space right here. So I might cut some new ones, which stinks because I already like started sewing this one. But you know what? I'm actually not losing time because if I do smaller numbers, it'll actually take less time to sew. So it's like not a big deal. I haven't cut out the five yet because the five is so fucking hard to get right. But I'm liking these. Do we like the size? Oh yeah. I'm liking this so much more. This is, this is more the vibe that I want. Okay, I'm gonna try to sew. Hey y'all, this is my finished t-shirt. Actually, I'm just gonna speak at a normal level. This is my finished t-shirt. We're about to go get food. Everyone's on their phones, don't worry. Hi all. See, you guys thought I was just doing this, but no, I added a little bow. Just kind of a secret little touch. Hi all. Yeah, Patrick, you have to come, and then we can go. Take your time though. What do I have to do? You just have to say hi to everyone. Hi all. <laughs> all. Okay. Oh, one more time? Okay. Good evening all. Okay, perfect. Hey y'all, a lot of y'all will probably recognize where we are, but for those of you that don't, we have finally made it to the Cat and Fiddle Pub. We are back here in the back alley because we always like to come back here to look at the graffiti. Yeah, you have to touch the wall before you go inside. Woo! <laughs> Suck dick. Back help. Help! <laughs> we are going into the Cat and Fiddle Pub. We've been waiting to go here for months, years. We're finally going. We're finally going. Everyone's really excited. Um, just kind of get a quick light bite before we go. It's actually great. It's a British pub. And we're going to see a British band. Um, yeah, so I'm going to meet my London boy and then head off to the concert. Aww. That's actually really cute. I went ahead and got the roast beef with a kind of a wheat ale. Shannon got kind of the kids sliders with a Diet Coke. Rook. And kids buttered noodles right now. Mm-hmm. And Pat? So I was getting the roast beef French dip. Lagunitas IPA. I love it, man. I love Lagunitas. Everybody give up your napkin. I'm sorry. <laughs> That'll come right off. <laughs> oh, this is That's the kind of ketchup that comes right off. I'm so confused how that happened. You must have been squeezing Thank it. You. I was not squeezing <laughs> it. Can we get some extra napkins? Yeah. Thank you so much. Hello, all. Oh, how are we? <laughs> getting is that a, is that a full bottle? Point. Yeah, why? <laughs> Hi all, we are here live on location at the venue. Hey guys. 1975, we're their biggest fans ever. Yes, and you're never gonna believe what happened, Channing. So we were standing, we were walking through, okay, the huge crowds of people coming uh -huh. in here. Dozens, thousands. I'm standing here with our good friend, good friend Sally Dar, Brooke, and Patrick, and a girl packed me and looked at me and said, I love your videos. She you kept walking, I was not able to kind of get her name, but love you to death. <laughs> And that had me kind of screaming that you were doing that to me out of the four of us. I love it. She really does it all for her fans. I do. Y'all mean the world to me, and y'all just kind of keep me going every day. And XOXO. <laughs> Thanks, all. Okay, well, it's nice. I'm sure you're wondering, where is Scott? Do not worry, okay? We got to our seats, all six of us, and I thought, let me text him. Well, I did text him in the car on the way there, and he responded, and he was like, oh yeah, like I'm inside, like where are you guys sitting, whatever. And then I was like, I don't know, like do I really like tell him like where I'm sitting, like whatever, didn't text him. And then he sent me a screenshot of three tickets that were closer down, and he said, this is the section I'm in, I have three tickets, feel free to come down, bring two people, like come meet me excuse me so i turned to megan and brooke who are the biggest 1975 fans out of our friend group and i was like do you guys want to go down there with this man that like do you want to spend your concert with this man and they were like yes yes we are going and i said okay let's go i will take one for the team let's go if you guys want to get closer so we went down scott was sitting alone three empty seats next to him and i was like scott and he was like hey oh my gosh hey and i was like this is brooke this is Megan. They are going to be joining us. The way the Hollywood Bowl like box seats, they're not like box seats, like how you think of them, like up high, like whatever box seats are like, they're kind of just like literally in like a little rectangle and it's like two and two and they're separated by panels. So we had like a box seat with four of us. So it was like Brooke and Megan in front of us and then me and this guy Scott behind them. You know, I'm just saying it. Brooke and Megan said it themselves. I was the MVP. Okay, at this concert, kind of had a lot of chatter with him. He was great, he was fine. He did purchase us more drinks, which was really sweet of him. And I will never see him again. Spent, spent my concert with this man and it was for the greater good. Megan and Brooke had a great time. I also had a great time. Like he was wonderful and fine. Again, like I said, Scott's like a brother to me. 
Can't thank him enough. Love him to goddamn death. Did not give him my last name. He has no information other than my name is Sally. Let's get it. up an appointment that works with your schedule. Use promotional code SORRY75 to receive a 75% discount of your first month of a truly needed help. I feel so bad when I was talking to Julia Bug in the last clip. I just had like fear in my eyes, but that's because <laughs> Scott Bug was like lingering by all of our friends. Like we met up with a ton of people. So there was like 10 of us. And then I was like, okay, like, Love you, Julia Bug. Sorry if I was like being frantic. I was just like waiting for this man to walk away because I just like needed, had a, had a great night, needed to kind of say our goodbyes at that point. Last night was so fun. And somehow after the concert, all of us ended up at an after party uh, with the band. I think we're all still trying to process. It was just like one of those nights that it was just like, this is, this is just LA. I always thought I believed the statement, like if you're in the room, you're meant to be in the room. A until now, I don't think I was meant to be in that room. There's no reason why I needed to be in that room. No one really had the confidence to go up and say anything to any of them, except for Tristan, who had a few um, alcohol infused mocktails. He did have the confidence to go and speak to them. And we thank him for that. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope you had a good time. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, which is now X and Letterbox. Those are all the places you can find me and you can also subscribe. That would actually be really fucking sweet of you if you could go ahead and do that. With that, this is goodbye. And I'm listening to Boys Like Girls. Go. Now I'm here.